digital literacy, population health, personalized medicine. Now, these are all trends in which our trainees to be great doctors for the future need to understand. Training the next generation of medical professionals. That's ahead on this episode of Tomorrow's Cure, a podcast from Mayo Clinic that brings the future of medicine to the present. I'm Kathy Worzer. Thanks for being with us. We have two leaders in the field of medical education today. I'm so excited. Dr. Meyer, Dr. Stoller, thank you for taking the time. It's great to have you here. Delighted. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, I'm wondering, because this podcast is called Tomorrow's Cure, do you have any ideas, gentlemen, as to how we can make Tomorrow's Cure more accessible? So in, embedded in our diversity, equity, inclusion imperatives are to recruit people that when they learn medicine, will have a commitment to serve the communities from which they come. And we need to train people. We need bold leadership nationally. I think with, you know, I'm, I'm a great believer that we can affect change within our immediate locus of control. But what's within our immediate locus of control is to, is to recruit people that have a passion to serve, you know, outside of the forums in which we're practicing medicine today, uh, you know. Uh, we have programs, uh, educational programs, master's, doctorate degrees, and what we call translational sciences. So taking basic sciences and some technology, some approach, and using that to advance healthcare, the direct connection between basic science, laboratory medicine, and healthcare. So that's innovation. Another bit of innovation that we're all doing is in robotics, right? Robotics are having a huge impact on certain types of surgery, only more to come. So I think innovation is critical, and I think we all teach it, we all push it, we all encourage it. Well, I think as Dr. Meyer said, innovation is critical. So, you know, the, the, the medical students, the residents, the, the faculty that we seek are people that see the current state and imagine a new future state that's different and better. And then empowered by investigative skills, whether it be translational science, basic science, epidemiology, uh, these are the tools by which one translates the identification of a future unmet need into a reality that makes future medicine different than current medicine. If it weren't for someone imagining an mRNA platform, we wouldn't have the COVID vaccinations that we have uh, as a very concrete example. Um, and so that's an example of people imagining a future need, developing the skills and wherewithal to, to cultivate that, culminating in, in a Nobel Prize appropriately. That's the kind of individual we all seek in our medical schools and in our training programs. People that are curious and that are then, through, through education, empowered to develop the skills to follow that curiosity to a meaningful, better future state. That's, that's what innovation is at its core, I think. You can watch the full version of this conversation at tomorrowscure.com.